weeks ago, I had the opportunity to visit the Big Island with Patrick and his family. I was really enjoying the opportunity to sit back and look at all the beauty that Big Island has to offer, but I didn't want to make like your standard vlog showing off everything we were doing. So instead, I thought I would share some of the beautiful scenery that we saw and also share a mo'olelo or story from the Big Island. Most of our time was spent in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, which is the home to Kilauea, Mauna Loa, as well as the Halemauma'u Volcano Crater, which was all over the news about two years ago when there was a big eruption that wiped out a bunch of homes on the island. Since we spent a majority of our time in Volcano, I decided it would be very fitting to share some stories about Pele. If you look at a map of the Big Island, you'll notice that one side is very green and lush, tropical, what you would expect of an island, but the other side is rocky and filled with lava fields, as you'll see in this video. And today, I'm going to be telling you why it is that way. Pele, goddess of the volcano, came with her brothers and sisters seeking a home in Hawaii. She tried island after island, but always, as she dug her fire pits, she heard the voice of the sea. At last, she dug a great pit high up on Kilauea, far above the ocean. There, she tended her fires. Sometimes, she lived in peace with her family about her, while the brothers fed the fire in the pit, and the sisters made lehuale, or danced the hula. But sometimes, Pele went about the island, Often she went among her people in the form of an old woman. If anyone was rude to her, he would be punished. Often a whole countryside would be laid waste because of some rude word or scornful laughter. There are many stories about Pele, of both her cruelty and her kindness. Some very old, and some of recent growth. Pele lay watching her fires while, about her, her sister sat making lay of lehua. Look, one whispered. See that handsome man? A handsome man, indeed, stood on the point of the rock, above the edge of the pit. He smiled down at the women and chanted, O oh, beautiful women, making lei, you shall make them, I shall wear them. Aloha, my greetings to you. The sisters were delighted. Look, Pele, they whispered. See that handsome man? Let us invite him to come down. Let us hang our many lei about his neck. Handsome man, said Pele, scornfully. That is a pig. It is Kamapua, the pig. Oh no, you are mistaken, the sisters told her. You have not looked at him. We know pigs. We have seen them often in the lowland. We know the shape of a pig, the head of a pig, the snout of a pig. This is no pig, we tell you. Look, Pele, look. You do not recognize me, oh Pele, the young man called. Invite me to come down so that we may know each other. Oh, well, I know you quite well, Pele answered. Pig with a long snout. Pig with a wagging tail. I recognize you. The young man was indeed Kamapua, the pig god. Pele's true words angered him. Red-eyed Pele, he chanted. Woman with eyes like the noni dyed kappa. Woman who sends rains on the lowlands. Black rain of rocks and hot lava. Now Pele, too, was angry. Stir up my fires, she commanded her brothers. Let this pig feel the black rain and hot lava. We shall drive him from this island. Hawaii is ours. Let the pig return to Oahu. The fires blazed in the pit, and hot lava overflowed. Dark clouds gathered, lightning shot from cloud to cloud, and thunder roared. The earth shook. Pele could no longer see Kamapua'a, but she heard his scornful voice chanting, the fire of Pele is burning the uplands of Puna. Black smoke darkens the heavens. It falls on the snow of the mountain. The roll of the thunder is heard. The loud voice of Pele, the woman. The pit is filled with the fire and smoke of Pele, the woman. So, he lived. Pele stamped on the floor of the fire pit. Lava burst forth once more and filled the pit. Hot rocks shot upward. Steam and smoke rose until it seemed as if earth and heaven were afire. Surely Kamapua'a was burned. Pele listened and heard no scornful chant. The pig god was dead. Let the fires die down, she commanded. 
Slowly the fire died, lava turned black and no longer flowed, smoke disappeared, and the sky became clear. And there in the light of the sun, Kamapua'a stood on the same point of the rock. Pele had neither killed him nor driven him away. Rekindle my fires, she shouted. Again, Kilauea was filled with fire and lava. And now Kamapua'a prayed, O gods of the skies, let the rain come, let it fall. O clouds in the skies, black as smoke, let the heavens fall on earth, let the heavens roll open for the rain, let the storm come. Rain poured from heaven, it hissed upon the hot lava and rose in clouds of steam. Great waves rolled in from the sea and poured over the island. The crater was filled with water and the fires of Pele went out. Kamapua'a still stood upon the point of rock and laughed, for he thought he had conquered Pele. But the fire-making sticks had been hidden away where no water could touch them. Rekindle the fire, Pele commanded, and her brothers set to work. Kamapua'a watched the rubbing, rubbing of the fire stick in the soft wood. Smoke rose. Soon fire would follow. Let us be friends, O Pele, he said. Yes, Pele, her sisters and brothers begged. It was you who started this quarrel. You called Kamapua'a a pig and made him angry. You have not driven him out. He cannot destroy you, nor can you destroy him. Make peace, or between you the island will be laid waste. Yes, Pele said at last. I started the quarrel. Fire and water, neither is stronger than the other. Let us make peace, O Kamapua'a. So peace was made, and Hawaii was divided. Pele still sends her lava flows over Ka'u, Puna, and Kona, but the other side of the island belongs to Kamapua'a. There, rain falls and forests and gardens grow. Never fear that lava will reach Hilo, people say. Hilo is safe. This side of the island does not belong to Pele. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the story I told you guys today. If you want to check out more stories, I got this one from Hawaii Island Legends which was edited by Mary Kavena Pukui and published by Kamehameha Publishing. And I'll try and link it below if you want to check it out. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next week. Bye!